walking a cow into the original Asher House RV. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right, guys, we are leaving the Asher House Sanctuary. Today is rescue day. This is probably going to be the best rescue day of all time. Look, we have a little setup back here. All right, guys, we are here. Not 100% sure where I'm going yet, but I know we're here. So we got this guy. That's a little Holstein bowl right there. Um, this girl, there's the emperor. What's up with this one? Yeah, he was running a uh, temperature about two days ago. He's feeling a little bit better now, but still a little bit depressed and not feeling 100%. His bones look like a little different, is he? Uh, yeah, he was he was born a little bit wonky. Um, wonky? Yeah. Um, his legs were a little bit curved. You can already tell he's making quite a bit of improvement just on how he stands. Um, and how strong he is, but when he was born, his legs were kind of curved. <laughs> yeah. Never held a cow before. <laughs> you can't hold them for too long, they get pretty big. <laughs> sanctuary we are here Tasha and Justin are also here they've had cows and they have cows so they have a lot of experience so they're gonna help out <laughs> all right we're home baby This one's like, oh, uh, like a dog. I can't believe. It. No, it was. Oh, look how happy he is! 
Oh wow, guys, how cool is this? The cows. Oh my god. Yeah. He's loving it. Yeah, man. Welcome home. Go get him! Saddle, wait, you like The vet just got here. So tell me the story about your baby cows. So basically, they uh, they were three of all three were kind of sick, so the farmer didn't want to keep them. And um, before sending them to auction, they reached out to a, a cow rescue in California, uh -huh. and then they reached out to us. Okay. So all three of them had some sort of something. Okay. And he's kind of, he has the legs that I think he braces of some sort. Okay. He appears healthy. I think he might have parasites okay. or bacterial overgrowth of his gut. And that happens easily in, in young babies. All right. Um, I think he's, I think he's healthy for his circumstances. Got it. I think he does have a, a angular limb deformity, which may or may not be because he is a chondrodysplastic baby. But is it possible like he's gonna grow up and not be able to walk or he'll always be able to walk and just have kind of a limp? No, I think he, he's gonna grow up and walk. Okay. Yeah, and he may not need braces depending on what x-rays tell us. Guys, oh, oh, you just disappoint here. <laughs> They're laying down. Hi. Oh, you, you are a Bambi. That Bambi. Well, I'm Bambi. <laughs> Right. You're a gorgeous baby. Yeah, he's Marty. big. Marty and Bambi. And how's their appetites? Oh my gosh. Very good. Yeah. yeah, that looks like ringworm. It's ringworm? That's ringworm. It is? Yeah. It'll yeah. go away by itself. There's stuff you can put on it topically. They might rub it off. It'll go away by itself. <laughs> Will the other one get it now? Maybe. Great. Right. <laughs> a little skinny. She's skinny? Yeah. Hi, Bambi. So it's snowing a little bit. I take my stupid head off here. It's snowing a little bit. So we got some jackets for the dogs. I mean, the cows. I'm so used to saying dog. Cows are fed. We got their little jacketas on. Keeping them nice and cozy and warm. Jeez. You're like, this is a sign of love when they start headbutting things. It's eventually a good thing. 